So you're really going to kick Brock out? Oh, yeah. Bye-bye, Blondie. <laughs> I hate to sound judgmental, but you know that's crazy. No, Reba. Spending last summer learning Portuguese because it was going to be the universal language of the future was crazy. <laughs> Trying to train bees to eat hamburger out of my hand was crazy. <laughs> Kicking Brock out is a smart move. Uno movimento esperto. <laughs> Barbara Jean, I don't get it. This doesn't sound like something you'd do. I know. Reba... I had a revelation. I was driving around, lonely and feeling sorry for myself, when I went by this church, and it hit me. I wasn't alone in this world. Yeah, I know, you're not. So I asked myself, WWRD, what would Reba do? <laughs> Hey, Mrs. H, quick question for you. If you want to go duck hunting, do you have to have your own gun? <laughs> or can you just wait for them to land and then go after them with a hammer? What in the name of dirt and worms are you talking about? We're trying to come up with stuff to do with Barbara Jean, you know, ever since Dad moved into their old condo. We don't want her to sit around and get depressed. Yeah, I think hunting is good when you're depressed. <laughs> <laughs> Look, when I went through my separation, I hated it when people thought that keeping me busy was going to make me happy. You know what? Maybe you're right. Ah, uh, too bad. I got a great duck call. <laughs> hey, ducks! <laughs> I have never had so much fun trolling for men. Barbara Jean, we weren't trolling. They were jumping in the boat. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Oh, Reba, you and I make a great team. Hey, we should have team jerseys made up. We, we, we could call ourselves the two girls, and guys would come over and say, what does that mean, the two girls? And I'd say, I'm not telling. And then they'd say, what's your name, sugar? And I'd say, I'm Barbara Jean, and this is Reba. And then we would meet every eligible man in town, and then everybody would know us, and we'd have a huge reputation. <laughs> Sounds great, but no shirts and no reputation. <laughs> Reba, if we go into a bar without shirts, we're going to have a reputation. Hey, Reba, have you seen Barbara Jean? So where were you last night? Well, you know, I saw, you know, doing something. Doing what? I thought we had plans. What is with all the questions, Brock? This is like CSI Miami. Barbara Jean, we Oh, must... I can't hear you. Oh, detective, forensic, David Caruso. What was that all about? Barbara Jean was supposed to meet me for marriage counseling last night. Instead, she was out bar hopping. How'd you know that? Oh, this golf buddy of mine is one of the bartenders over at the Blue Lounge. Yeah, he said she was cruising with some slutty friend. Well, you know, my girlfriend, she moved away, and, and she was supposed to come visit this weekend, but she had to cancel because she's in this new relationship. Well, maybe you'll meet someone new. Yeah, that'd be nice. Hey, you know what? Maybe you and I could get together sometime and hang out. Really? Yeah. Well, yeah, sure. You know, this is wild because this is actually what I've sort of been hoping would happen ever since I switched teams. Teams? <laughs> but if you're an agent, how no, can no, you... Not, not sports teams. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I got a divorce and then I realized I'm gay. <laughs> thing we have in common. <laughs> oh. No, it's okay. No, Van already told me you were gay. <laughs> oh. Babe, I know it's
it's late, but it's a funny story. The guys in the team took me out to celebrate my new contract. <laughs> we had so much fun. And yes, I had a few beers. Oh. But don't you worry, I didn't drive. <laughs> No, baby. We can keep celebrating if you want to. Oh. I have a headache. All right, Jake, what have we learned so far? Always tighten to the right, and it's not swearing if you use different words. Granny and hot pants! What are you guys doing now? Man's work, little missy. <laughs> Man's work, huh? Batman is on. <laughs> We've only been in therapy a short time, and the last thing I want to do is pressure him. Actually, the last thing I want to do is go to the mall with the back of my dress tucked into my pantyhose. <laughs> Stupid kids with those phones that take pictures. <laughs> well, then, if you're not going to talk any sense into your husband, I guess I will. You can dip that in batter, put a stick in it, and sell it at the state fair. <laughs> How many carnies did you date? Five. And a half, but he was a little person! What is this? Two tickets for me and Elizabeth. We are coming to Denver with you tomorrow. You're coming to, you're, you're, you're going, you what? Yeah! That way you don't have to be so bummed about, you know, leaving early. And you could show us all around Denver. I have a list of places that we have to see. No, we can't. I mean, I mean, see, Denver is very dangerous, especially during hurricane season. <laughs> Plus, I have practice. I, I get a long, long practice. No, well, that's okay. We'll come watch. It'll be so cool for Elizabeth to see where Daddy works, and then after we can do all that stuff. But, 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 but see, 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 see. You know. It, it, What's, what's the matter? Well, you just can't drop by practice like that. I thought a lot of wives come watch. They do, but not on... No Wives Day. <laughs> no Wives Day? Yeah, and can you believe that's tomorrow? Oh, shoot, you know what? It's No Wives Week. <laughs> what's going on, Van? Do you even have practice tomorrow? Oh, of course I do, absolutely. No. <laughs> you don't? Then what? Are you having an affair? Oh, of course not. How could I have the energy for an affair the way you got me running around? <laughs> Whoa, hold on. So you're saying that you're leaving early because we're doing too much stuff together? No. No, Cheyenne, no. That is not it. That is completely not it. Yes. <laughs> Hey, you know what? That is not fair. You are completely giving me no credit for not having an affair. Hey, guys. Barbara Jean has some really sad news she wants to tell you. Come on, Barbara Jean, tell them. Mm -mm. <laughs> yes, I know it's painful, Brock. Maybe you should tell them. Well, you see, kids, I've always been attracted to angry women. I'm not angry! No. <laughs> the thing is... Reba wants me to tell you, you can't come over for Thanksgiving, even though I really want you there. <laughs> Barbara Jean! Well, I'm not gonna give up that easily. I didn't kill that bird for nothing. <laughs> Mom? Hey, don't look at me. That's not what she said in the kitchen. Good Lord, Barbara Jean, get your story straight. <laughs> Can we talk to you in the kitchen for a second? Sure, sure. I'm sure we'll be able to work out something, you know, later on. <laughs> Do 
Chip, this is my mom. Ha, nice to meet you. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> well, at least he wore nice underwear. <laughs> Can I see you in the kitchen for a minute? Sure, Mom. <laughs> Isn't he cute? Probably. What's your guess? <laughs> he's so smart and so sweet. And, Mom, the best part? He's in a band. Well, that is the best part. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Kira, I've changed my mind. I don't feel comfortable with Chip coming over here after school unsupervised. What? You just said this morning that I could. Yeah, you know, but in order for a boy to date my daughter, I have to be able to pick him out of a lineup. <laughs> you said you trusted me. I know, but I have to trust him, too. Why doesn't he say anything? That's just not polite. Chip shy. Shy? Huh, yeah. You know, jails are full of shy boys. <laughs> You're just judging him on his looks. Hey, don't blame me. You're the one that let me see him. Uh, okay, okay, fine. He can stay. Where are you going? In the living room with Willie Nelson here. I thought you were going in the market. Nah, I don't need to. Then what are we going to have for dinner? Um, uh, gum and Cheetos. <laughs> okay, fine. Give me my coupons. Forgot my keys. <laughs> Notice how unexpected that was? I do that a lot, you know, just pop in unexpected like. <laughs> so I'll see you. <laughs> or maybe I won't. <laughs> okay, look, you guys, I don't have very much time. Van's on his way in. But listen, I have to warn you, do not make fun of his injury. Why? What is it? He broke his butt. <laughs> well, he actually fractured his tailbone, but let's face it, he broke his butt. <laughs> Guys, that is not funny. I know, no, no, no. no, no Come on, no. Reem, it's just that we're relieved that yes. it's not serious. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man. Hey, man. hey everybody. <laughs> So it was your, um, your back, huh? Yeah, the back. Back-ish. <laughs> hey, buddy, why don't you come on and take a seat? No, thanks, I'll just stand. Oh, honey, don't be silly. You have to get off your feet. <laughs> Seriously, man? Pull up a donut? <laughs> All right, you know what? This is not funny. No, 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 <laughs> oh, don't you just love her, Brock? Guess her name. Cat food? <laughs> Brock! Her name is Brock! <laughs> you named her Brock? Get a short leash. <laughs> you named the dog Brock, but, but it's a girl. Well, she spells it with a Q. <laughs> Oh, does Brock want to live with Barbara Jean? Oh, yes, Brock does. Yes, he does. And you better not hog the whole bed. No. Oh, no, no. Oh, and not only is she cute, she is great protection. Yeah, if you get attacked by a tiny little man. <laughs> oh, no, she is scared of men. <laughs> and yes, I could have gotten a bigger dog, but <laughs> stop it, Brock. <laughs> But, you know, bigger dog, bigger mess. <laughs> I'm not even sure she poops. <laughs> Barbara Jean has the hots for her marriage counselor. Shut up. No, you shut up. No, you shut up. I'm serious, they'll hear us. <laughs> okay, golden god. I'm going to call it a night. You want to play again tomorrow? No can do, Red Rose. Why not? Got a flamenco lesson? <laughs> no, you've taken all my money. But I had a lot of fun. 
likewise. Since we won't be doing this anymore, should we tell each other our real names? Why not? I live in Houston, and my name is Brock. Also live in Houston, and my name is Kevin. Barbara Jean wanted me to get a tape of the dog to give to the police. Why didn't you just give them a picture? Because it doesn't capture her spirit. <laughs> she only had the dog a week. How many tapes can she have? These are just from yesterday. Check this out. <laughs> Sorry for the poor sap who had to videotape all that. 80 bucks is 80 bucks. I'm just apologizing in advance. Guess what I am? The new fruit and the fruit of the loom. Brock told me about the pageant. Isn't it exciting? What are you doing? Well, you know, I know that Jake felt obligated to ask you, but I just wanted to show him what other options were available. <laughs> you know, after all, I am a step-grandma. With the brains of a stepladder. <laughs> wow, Barbara Jean. <laughs> you look fantastic. Oh, this? <laughs> this was easy. You know, just an old pageant gown, some hairspray and makeup, and three strategically placed rubber bands. <laughs> oh. Two. Two rubber bands. Five. Yeah, we started with five yeah. rubber bands. Um, oh. And you are going to be the prettiest woman in the office. <laughs> oh, second to you. Hey, we're not comparing apples and melons here. <laughs> hey, maybe we'll get lucky and she'll flunk. Oh, she's not going to flunk. I told her how to dress for the test. You know, shirt down to here, skirt up to here. <laughs> I've never even driven a car before I took my test. <laughs> I have a license to drive a car, a motorcycle, and an 18-wheeler. <laughs> and yet, she's always here. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the assassinator. <laughs> Stay very still, folks. He's trained to hit anything that moves. He's 75 pounds of ornery whoop-ass. <laughs> cheerleader <laughs> hey mom I'm gonna ride my bike down the stairs what's that you're at work <laughs> sweet hey Jakey I thought since we were both alone we could spend some time together now's not the best time Barbie Jean <laughs> Jake you are not gonna ride that bike down those stairs it is too dangerous that's what makes it fun. <laughs> Haven't you ever done anything dangerous? Well, 
No. My parents are really strict and mean. They never let me do anything. I don't see your parents around. <laughs> Yeah. If you crash, go limp. Yeah. All right, on three. One, two, and... You want to go first? <laughs> you know, that's the least crazy thing I've seen all day. Because I get to work with Van. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 